Hello and welcome to Cinder Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily reconcile online transactions in your accounting with the help of Cinder. I will show it to you on the example of Stripe to QuickBooks online integration, but the flow is absolutely the same for any accounting system. So ideally, when Cinder works in the background and uh, you enable AutoSync, you should be able to see all of those transactions with a green sync status, which means that all of those are recorded in your QuickBooks and are sitting there waiting to be reconciled. But for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I will show you the manual way of synchronizing them so that you can see step by step how things are changing in your accounting. Cinder mirrors the real life money flow that you have. So in your QuickBooks, it creates a clearing account. In my case, it's called Stripe Bank account, which represents my actual Stripe. Cinder will record all of my sales there with all possible details, customer name, product name, tax information, shipping details, and whatever you wanna track there. All of the sales and fees that Stripe takes for processing them will be recorded in this clearing account. Once Stripe makes a payout to your actual bank, Cinder will record a transfer of funds from this Stripe bank account or any clearing account in your books to the checking account. Now let's see how it works with Cinder. In my Stripe, I have a couple of transactions in here that were made in one day and that at the end of the day, Stripe made a payout for the total net amount of all of those transactions combined. If I go to Cinder now, I will see all of those transactions, the payment and for invoice payments in here, and I wanna synchronize them all to my accounting. Once all of the transactions are showing with a green sync status, you can go to QuickBooks and check the results. Here we can see that the Stripe bank account balance has gone up. And if we open the register, we'll see that all of the sales that I just synchronized, as well as the fees that Stripe took for processing them are recorded here. But if I go to the banking tab now and take a look at the checking statement, I will see no difference in here because a payout has not been yet synchronized. So let's do that. Go back to Cinder, select the payout and sync it. Now it is showing it synced as well. So we can go back to QuickBooks and update the banking page. We can now see that there appeared a confirm or some of you may have a match option near this very Stripe bank feed line. It means that Cinder recorded a transaction in your QuickBooks. QuickBooks found this match and now asks you to confirm it. So the only thing you need to do now is to click confirm and that's it. Do this for all of the bank feed lines for your Stripe, Square, Shopify, eBay, Amazon, or any other platform you want to connect to your accounting. Moreover, if we go back to the chart of accounts, and take a look at the clearing account balance, the Stripe bank account, it has gone down to zero because a transfer of funds was recorded from it to my checking account. This is a good way to check whether the integration is working properly. You should compare the balance of your Stripe bank account and QuickBooks to your actual Stripe balance. If these two numbers coincide, then Cinder is working properly. Now you know how to easily reconcile your online transactions in QuickBooks or Xero with the help of the Cinder app.